Saki, tell me how uh, Christmas magic is going. Busy in the park today. We are here in Victoria Park. Um, things are going really well. The weather has been on our side. Yesterday was a little bit um, dicey, but uh, things are going well. We're getting a lot of ground covered. Um, the lights are going to be beautiful again this year. And yeah, we're, Rotary Park is done and we've now moved on to Victoria Park. So here we are. Tell us about Rotary Park first. Uh, Everything set up, it, it looks amazing, but tell us about the two trees brought in and et cetera, et cetera. Yep, so the park is all set. The lights are hung um, from, you know, the north end to the south end. We had a donation of two Christmas trees this year. So that program, um, we're, we work with Ironwood Tree and Landscape. They get a call to take a tree down sometime in the year. They talk to the families. The families wait until around Christmas magic, and then they donate um, the tree, and then Ironwood and Northumberland Crane donate their services and trucks. They cut the trees down and we bring them into Rotary Park. If anybody's noticed, we have lots of trees in Rotary Park, but none that look like Christmas trees. So this allows us to have a big, beautiful Christmas tree in the park. Nice thing about it is even after it's over, the tree keeps on giving, so the to speak. The tree keeps on, that's true, that tree keeps on giving. So when you're walking in our playgrounds and parks and you see um, the wood chips down, all the trees that we do put in for Christmas magic, those get chipped up and used in the spring in our um, parks and playgrounds. And so it's a really uh, good project and the tree, you know, um, we didn't cut the tree. We don't go source a tree. The, some, for some reason, it has to be cut down if it's a, a house or, you know, things, different things like that. So it's, it's a really good story. Tell us about uh, what's happening this Friday. Christmas magic is on Friday and we're going to do the traditional light up starting at Victoria Hall at 6.30. So we're going to light up Victoria Hall. We're going to parade down through um, 2nd Street. There's going to be a downtown Christmas presented by the DBIA. So there's going to be vendors and um, crafts and music going on. Um, of course, it's Black Friday, so there's lots of sales and things like that going on with the stores. Then we'll go to Rotary Park. We're going to have some light up. So bring your non-perishable food items, donate to Northumberland Fair Share and get a little light up for the parade. It's always fun. So it'll be dark in Rotary Park and then we're going to flick everything on and there'll be a DJ and music and it's going to be lots of fun. Victoria Park? Victoria Park, fingers crossed. Um, so we had a little um, glitch this year with some, uh, with our truck actually, um, had to get fixed. We didn't, it was, we didn't know that this was gonna happen. So it took some extra time, a few extra weeks. We now have our own truck. We now have rent, rented truck um, from OLC. Um, they were able to, to lend one to us. So we are working fast to get Victoria Park done, but it is a big park with a lot of ground to cover. So um, it's not gonna be a part of the official light up. If we can get it done by Friday, it will be on. If not, it will be on um, next week, 100%. One thing that we talked about and we always talk about, you always get visitors here. <laughs> the animals are a pain, but they're what can you do? Talk what a little bit about do? the squirrels. We have our little squirrels. Actually, if you pan over, you'll see there's lots of them out here. So they, it is true, they do love the lights. It's not just here. I've been reading a lot of articles. People are um, uh, faced with this with their homes too. Well, the way they're making the lights now, um, obviously it's it's a little a different process and the lights are coated with a soy base on the lights so that it, it makes the plastic long last longer but the wildlife likes it, so they they chew through it, um, which means they're chewing through and then the lights don't work. So this is a battle for us the entire season. We fix lights right up until the day that we turn them off. So the parks crew will come down, we look and we see what needs to be done. They're able to maneuver it so that they can get them to work. Then all summer long, when they're tending the flower beds and different things like that, they find little piles of the, um, the little past plastic colored parts from the Christmas lights. So it's kind of cute. They saved them for me thinking it's funny that they found the lights. <laughs> Bottom line, the excitement starts at what time again? 6.30 in front of Victoria Hall, but come down early and really, you know, explore our unique downtown. We have lots of cool restaurants and shops and lots going on. So bring your family down and have some fun and meet the neighbors and yeah, we'll see you there.